Jess. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. Hello, Doc. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Oh, good morning, Pat. Ooh, are those cheese and watercress sandwiches? My favourite. Ooh. Yes, but they're not for now. They're for lunchtime. I just don't have enough cupboards in this kitchen to put all these plates away. Hmm. We'd better deliver this letter to the Reverend. We shouldn't be long. Bye then, love. Cheerio. Sounds like the Reverend's having a bit of a practice, Jess. Yeah. Morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. I was just having a bit of a spring clean. <laughs> so I see. I came across my old violin. It's been a while since I've played it, I can tell you. But it's still in tune. Would you like a hand with this lot, Reverend? Bless you, Pat. That's the to-go pile, and that's the to-keep pile, and these spare chairs can go into the best tree. Good idea. I wonder if... Hmm, there's plenty of storage space in there. Would you like it, Pat? Well, Nisha might. She's got nowhere to store the plates in the cafe. I'd be delighted to give it a new home. If we move it outside the vestry door, I can take it over there later. Right you are, pet. Morning, Pat. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. We're just having a bit of a spring clean. It looks very impressive. I was just on my way to a doctor's meeting in Pencaster, so I thought I'd drop this off for you, Reverend. Oh, how very kind. You're welcome. Good luck with the spring cleaning. Thank you, Doctor. Bye. If we put it here, then we can put the other one round there. For that. We'll be out of here in a jiffy. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh dear, they're not here. They're on the cupboard. You put them there when we moved it outside. So I did. Good idea, Jess. We'll call for help. Hello? Help! Hello? Can anyone hear us? Help! Anyone there? Help! Hello? Can anyone hear us? Hello? No good. There's no one there. I know, Pat. My musical instruments. If we play them really loudly, someone might hear us. Well, it's worth a try. Cedric does love music. That's 
it, we can play the music to get Cedric to the window. Then he can take a message to Alf, and we're rescued. Quick, Reverend, keep playing. What? Oh, right. Well done, Reverend. It worked. Cedric, are we pleased to see you? Cedric, go home to Alf. All we can do now is wait. Hey, oh, Cedric, what's that you've got? Oh, no. Pat and the Reverend are stuck. We'd better get help quick, Cedric. I'm sitting up now, Ajay. Get everyone together, and I'll meet you at the church. Okay, Al. Will do. Pat and the Reverend are stuck in the church. They need help. No hold me worry. Oh, dear. Now, don't you worry, Sarah. We'll get them out. Come on, Ajay. I hope Alf gets here soon. I'm starving. I know. I've got some fresh biscuits that Mrs. Goggins baked. Oh, that sounds perfect. Wow. Oh, no. The biscuits are in the church. On the other side of the door. Oh, no. It sounds like Ted. The keys are on the cupboard, Ted. Just outside. Right, old pup. We can't see him, pup. That's odd. I remember seeing them when we were talking to Dr. Gilbertson. Dr. Gilbertson wouldn't take the keys on purpose. But she could have taken them by accident. I've just seen Dr. Gilbertson going to Pencaster. Right, let's make a search party to find Dr. Gilbertson. There's three possible routes to Pencaster, so I think we should split up and look for her. Right. Right, you all. We won't be long, Reverend. Back. Oh, dear. soon. What's up, Jess? Is there something under there? Look, a trap door. Well, I never knew that was there. Maybe we can escape after all. Come on, Reverend. Oh, it looks a bit dark. I think I saw a torch earlier. Ah, here it is. And it works. Now then, how can we keep the trap door open in case we need to get back? How about the drum? That should hold it. Excellent. Come on, Reverend. Let's see what's down there. Meow.
Reverend. Why don't we go to the cafe for a bite to eat and a cup of tea? Oh, what a good idea. We can drop off the cupboard at the same time. Splendid. It's the keys to the church vestry, Doctor. Pat and the Reverend are stuck in there and we can't get them out without the keys. It would appear you might have them. Me? No. Have I? Oh, well, I never. Here they are. Thank you, Doctor. See you later. Wait. We'll soon have you out of there, Pat. They've gone. Just disappeared. But how did they get out? It's very mysterious, if you ask me. The cupboard. It's gone. So it does. Hmm. I wonder. Tell you what, Arthur, why don't we go to the cafe and have a cup of tea? Then we can decide what to do next. Good idea. Agreed. Let's go. Here you are, Pat. Your cheese and watercress sandwich. Oh, thanks, love. I've been looking forward to this all day. Pat, you're here. Well, I never. How did you get out? And how did the cupboard get here? I don't understand this. Just found a trap door that led to a secret passage. What a clever cat. Where is he? I thought I heard purring in the cupboard. Out you come, Jess. I think we've had enough of getting stuck for one day.